What's up everyone, Colby here from Colby's Cards, and today I'm opening another one of these uh, blaster boxes from 2021 Panini Mosaic. Um, I really do like these cards a lot. Um, I think retail has a decent value. I mean, there's not a ton of cards in here. Let's see, I think there's 30, uh, 32 cards total. Um, so we're not guaranteed anything, uh, but it is still an exciting rip. You know, I've gotten some really nice cards out of here before. Uh, there are the odds on the side of the box, and uh, let's just dive right in. This is a personal break for me, so I've already taken the plastic off to make this a little quicker. Uh, you can see there's the packs on the inside. Empty box, there's our little security tag. Um, put that inside. We'll just keep this box in the back for something to, something to look at, maybe. I can close it, there we go. Um, so we are going to see two of those retail exclusive mosaic green parallels. Here's our bonus pack. You can save that till the end. And then each one of these cards here has four packs inside of it. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and get to get to ripping. Center that in the back. I'm trying to think, I haven't. I'm tr well, I did. So I opened actually. I've, I've opened a lot of uh, mosaic this year, or well, from 2021, I should say. Um, I've opened a hobby box, a mega box, and a couple of these blasters already. So uh, probably going to see some duplicates from what we've seen in previous videos, but uh, we'll see if we can get anything else good. I do see our one of our greens coming up, I think. Uh, so here's Mike Soroka on the front. We've got a rookie of Clark Schmidt. And our first, I believe that's a green mosaic, is an Aaron Judge um, big fly. So it's the max distance 496, one of his home runs. These greens are not numbered, uh, but still very nice. And then here's actually another big fly card. This is Matt Olson. Um, you can see that, so the, the right part of the card is gonna be the team colors. So like for Aaron Judge, the Yankees colors, uh, for Matt Olson, the A's colors. But the parallel version is gonna have this green area here on the side. I think I've gotten a blue parallel of one of these cards before as well. I'm not sure if that, I might be lying, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, but I think that's that's how it works. But I know that that's really how you can tell like the parallels of those. All right, so our second pack here, Anthony Santander from the Orioles. We've got an all-time great Nolan Ryan. I've actually seen that card before. Lucas Giolito, and that's a prism. I just realized that's like a, what Tops would call a rainbow refractor uh, is what Panini calls a prism. And Fergie Jenkins throwback is one of those Aces cards. So that's pretty cool. I think previously the Aces cards, we've gotten uh, Trevor Bauer, we've gotten Garrett Cole. So cool to have a, uh, you know, throwback player there. All right, so on the front here, we've got Austin Meadows. We've got Carlos Correa. Hanser Alberto is our mosaic parallel, not numbered or anything. Uh, and our debut is Tariq Skubal. So very cool. That's I don't believe that's a blue parallel. I think that's just the uh, the way the card looks there. So that's pretty cool. Um, Tariq Skubal of the Detroit Tigers. All right, let's see. So this pack, we start out with Kyle Seeger. He has since retired. We've got a rookie card of Monte Harrison for the, Mar the, the, geez, the Marlins. Uh, here's one of our, our second green parallel of Marco Gonzalez. So it's not a, you know, top player. It's not a rookie card, but still a very nice card, that green parallel there. Um, Marco Gonzalez does play for the Seattle Mariners. So the green kind of, I guess you could say, matches the team colors. And we've got Cal Ripken Jr. here on one of these producers cards. Very cool. Uh, three base packs remaining. Let's see if we can get any autographs or anything that would be super nice thought we almost had a, a bonus card in here it felt a little thick uh so we see colin moran from the pirates on the front he was actually dfa'd at the end of the season or i guess really the end of the year last year so he won't be playing with the pirates anymore here's zach mckinstry rookie card a davy garcia rookie card that's another one of our green parallels i'm not sure now that I think about it, 
I, I, I guess this is their third one, technically. So we got three instead of the two promised. Uh, and here's a Lou Bordeaux from the Indians back in the day. It's a throwback. Um, not a numbered card or anything like that, but one of our uh, will-to-win cards. We've got two base packs left. We see a Fernando Tatis Jr. card here on the front. Always nice to get Fernando Tatis. Here's an orange parallel. That's pretty cool. This actually might be numbered. Uh, orange mosaic parallel of Jeff McNeil. And that's going to be numbered 1 of 25. Check that out. So that's a 1 of 25. I'm going to go ahead and get that sleeved up right away. That's a super nice card. I really like that. And obviously, being with the Mets, matches the uh, team colors. So that's pretty big there. Um, unfortunately, not a rookie card, but still probably the best card we've seen thus far in terms of the parallels. So we had Tatis first and then Jeff McNeil. So that's pretty awesome. Um, all right, now we have a vintage of Bruce Sutter. And another vintage right after that. That's So this was actually a mosaic, um, prism mosaic parallel. And then this vintage uh, is of Sandy Koufax there. So again, pretty cool. Uh, that's just the base vintage insert card. And our last, let's see, last base pack, and then we'll get to our bonus pack. I think there's a, oh, I think there's still only four cards in the bonus pack, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it says four cards per pack, seven packs per box, plus one four card bonus pack. Okay, so that kind of clears that up for us. There's an Anthony Rizzo back in his Cubs uniform. Uh, Alex Kirilov, rookie card. And here is, is this another green parallel? Or is that just like team color situation? Uh, regardless, Luis Patino, rookie debuts. That's pretty cool. Obviously, you can see it was that prism um, parallel. And Frank Thomas is our last, sorry, I bumped the camera, uh, is our last card. This is a launched insert card. So just another insert there. And our bonus pack, Let's see if we can get anything good out of here. I can't remember what color the bonus cards are. Blue, that's, or the blue camo, that's what they are. All right, so here's a pretty cool hit um, for me, at least as a Pirates fan. Obviously, like I j literally just said he was DFA'd, but still nice to, you know, see Colin Moran. Um, but yeah, so Colin Moran for the Pirates there. Carlos Correa for the Astros. Kyle Seeger, again, recent retiree. And here's a nice, really nice um, Jonathan India rookie card. So that's probably the best card, definitely the best card of that bonus pack. Um, but the Jonathan India rookie card there, probably the first or second, you know, best card out of this box, this blaster box. And the other one here is this orange Jeff McNeil, one of 25. So... Some people call that an eBay one of one because it is numbered one. Um, still super low number, one of 25. So there's only 25 of these cards out there in circulation. Um, this card, obviously, with it being Jeff McNeil, is those team color match. So that's super nice. And then Jonathan India is the NL Rookie of the Year from this past year. So that's also super nice to see in a parallel version. Um, these blue camos are not numbered, but we do get, you know, the four of them in the the bonus pack for these blasters but let me know what you think in the comments below uh did you prefer jonathan india rookie card in the blue camo or do you prefer this team color variation um super low numbered one of 25 uh jeff mcneil let me know in the comments and also while you're at it subscribe and uh like the video if you like our content and i will see you in the next video thanks for watching bye everyone